Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about routing module. Instead of having our routes defined here and there and throughout the application scattered across in different code pieces, we usually create a single module, which is called your routing module, which is where we will maintain all the routes. We will learn all about it in this tutorial. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I am here to share my knowledge on the modern technologies and modern technology stack for building web applications. I am also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So I will really appreciate if you can support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. I've created a playlist for you, which is Angular 9 full tutorial series. Make sure you check it out if you really want to master Angular. So, so far in learning about Angular routing, we have learned about the routing basic introduction. We have seen routing strategies. We have seen the importance of base HREF. And in today's uh, episode, we were going to learn about the routing module or router module. So what is a routing module? A routing module is a module. You can think of it like a placeholder for configuring all your routes and navigation requirements in one single module. If you don't have this module, you will find that you will have routes configured everywhere in your code, which is a bad practice. As a good practice, we always consolidate all our routes into one place. And that particular module is called as our routing module. It's easy. It's, it's easy to maintain. It's easy to debug. It's easy to change in one place rather than throughout the application and hence the importance of routing module. If you remember, if you are generating a new application from scratch, Angular CLI will give you an option which will say, do you want to include routing in your code? If you have selected yes, it will generate a app-routing.module file automatically. If not, we can still generate it using Angular CLI by running the command ng generate module give the module name that is app hyphen routing and we are saying that include it into the module app module. So using this, we can generate our routing module in the code. Now, the routing module will have some important uh, things to do, namely steps, I would say. There are five important steps. Let's first check the code. So. Let's first see the code, go to app, and you will see app-routing.module.ts. So this is the place, this is a file where we will configure all our routing requirements. So to understand this, I have broken it down into six levels. First, we need to import the required modules from the package. So we need to import the routes and route module from angular slash router package. And since we are creating a module, we need to include import the ng module. So once we have the routes and router module imported, the next step is to create the routes. If you are following the tutorial series, you will see that in the first routing introduction tutorial, we learned that we have to create an array of routes, right? That is what this is. We will learn this configuring in the next episode. Don't worry about this now. Understand that there has to be an array of routes, right? That is what this configuration is. The next is the, which is the metadata basically using the decorator ng module, right? So this is a directive class. Here we are declaring an imports. We are saying import router module for root. That means uh, make it available throughout for all the application. And then we are exporting the router module. Finally, we are exporting the entire class, which is export class app routing module. 
this is auto generated when you tell the angular cli to generate it for you alternatively we can also generate or write it our own now we have done all we have done so far is generated a app routing module file or a class right now we need to include this into our app module.ts so if you see here we are importing that module into app module this is an extremely important step a lot of people miss it out a lot of people make mistake in not importing the file so make sure you don't make that mistake so once you have imported the module make sure you have added it into the imports right add it into the array of imports and then you are good to start using your routing module path or routes let's take a look at it again so take a look at it first we will import all the required modules from the packages that is for routing mainly important is routes and router module from the angular slash router package once we have imported them we will create the array of routes after that we using the ng module we are creating a module that means it is now single single uh, i would say standalone file or a module which can be injected into our app module we need to export the app module in a way that this will be used throughout once you have done this we then import it into our app module and then just import add it into the array of imports app routing module if you have done this we are ready to start writing our routes and configuring our routes so these are the six steps we just discussed importing configuring the routes defining our module exporting the class and importing the module into app module file once you have done it we are ready to start learning about router outlet and configuring the routes that we are going to see it in the next episode i hope you are enjoying i hope you are learning from this tutorial series if you are liking it give a thumbs up to the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep encouraging and supporting me thank you so much see you in the next episode